I keep having dreams where I wake up, it's my wedding day, and I don't have a dress. There is nothing that I can wear, and it's just so stressful. <gasps> I am taking this as a sign that I really need to uh, make some headway into my dress. I'm now two and a half months out from my wedding and time has flown. At the start of the year I was like, I have so much time to work on this. I think my dreams are evident of this stress that it's like implicitly giving me. As I have had lots of time to think about how my bodice was going to come together, I've also had quite a bit of time to think about how the skirt is going to come together. So here's what I'm thinking. I think there will be that outermost tool layer and then I've got some plain white tool which I do think might be wide enough to do a circle skirt but I'm not 100% sure yet so we'll have to see but I would ideally like to do three layers of the plain white tool and then it's just going to be the lining fabric the same kind that I use for my bodice don't want to make dress too heavy and like bulky around the like the bodice to waist the waistline seam and have like too many layers to put in and then like it'll be such a ordeal to put in the zipper and so yes that is what I'm thinking so far. I'm actually editing right now but I just feel like it made no sense the way it was going so I'm just going to explain a little bit. So there was an initial plan that I had to make the lining skirt but then Halfway through it, I <clears throat> realized I made a really dumb mistake and so I had to just kind of change my plan. So I'm just going to show you like everything sequentially because it is a process. Also, I got a new bed recently and so my old bed is now in the sewing room. So I don't know, I just haven't decided whether I want to hoard this or sell it or whatever. So, it's, it's in a lot of the shots in this video and such an eyesore. It's taking up so much space, but that is what that is. It's my old bed. <laughs> Consider that this is our fabric for the innermost layer. And because we can't get a circle skirt, my idea is to just like stick a bunch of trapezoidal shapes together. The combination of this length, this length, and this length should be like your waist circumference plus a bit of seam allowance. Once it's sewn together, I anticipate, you know, it's still gonna look the same. Well, I think what I will do is just cut it so that it starts a little shorter on this side and then ends up longer on this side so that I have a bit of a train and then also probably curve this part out a little bit. So I think what I will do is have the bottom of the skirt be one meter, one meter, one meter. So in total, I'd only need about, you know, a little over two meters. So while I was cutting the skirt, according to my original plan, I ended up making a mistake. I confused myself somehow and ended up cutting two trapeziums that were way too small at the top. So the third trapezium had to be cut out extra large so it would actually fit around my waist and I will insert a diagram of how my final pieces actually looked. So I had two of the smaller ones and then one large one. Then I sewed all the pieces together except for the back seam since I would need to add a zip there later on. Okay, my skirt has been sewn up. The three little trapezoidal panels. It's like really big and I think just seeing this put together, I've changed my mind a little bit how I think I want to do like the trim because before I said I just wanted to trim the bottom so that I get a nice train in the back but I think I can't do that anymore so I'll explain it on a smaller scale diagrams because it's just too big to explain on. Okay so if you remember I just wanted to do like a trim down here but I noticed that these parts are a bit too narrow which is probably just so obvious to everyone else but I was just being an absolute idiot so what I want to do is trim this way so this is like 
the half of the skirt like folded and I want to trim down so that it's obviously shorter at the front of the skirt. Now that the waist length is getting longer I'll just have to do a tiny little gather on the first half of the skirt and then the back will still remain long and we'll have a nice train. I did make those cuts as I had planned on the diagram and it did turn out as I had imagined. Although when I did put in the gathering, I had to spread it across the entire waist circumference rather than just the front piece as I had initially thought would be enough. Then I trimmed the bottom of the skirt to get rid of the selvage part and also just to round it out a little bit. So it's more like a train shape and not so angular. I tried it on just to see the length. It's mostly good, but just a bit too long at the front. But I decided all of the adjusting could come later when I was ready to put all the skirts together. I believe I have three meat, no, 10 meters of this three meter width tool. So like the heart of it goes three ways, which means I should be able to cut out circle skirts out of this quite easily, which um, does make my life a little bit easier than putting all these pieces together like I did with the inner lining. So this part, my camera wasn't focused, but hopefully you can still make out what's kind of going on. And I'll just outline the shape I'm trying to cut and how I went about it. I actually followed this diagram, it was so helpful. And I had my tool folded in half widthways. I used my lining skirt as a guide, so for reference, the front of my skirt was about 110 centimeters long, and my train was 145 centimeters, so from the waist to right down to the bottom. Then I folded it once more into quarters to cut out the waist area. I repeated this three times to get three tall skirt layers. So this is what the train looks like for the lining skirt. I had to blur out the sides because my living room is unbelievably messy and I'm just so embarrassed, but pretty good train, right? Considering the train wreck of a start we had. Then I started layering all the tall skirts onto my mannequin one by one so I could see what it looked like. And I did make them a little bit longer than my lining skirt because I just love the bunching effect the tool makes when it hits the floor. For my dotted tool, which is my outermost layer, the width of the fabric did not allow me to cut a full circle skirt, so I opted to put two half circle skirts together, and this time I folded my fabric vertically rather than widthways. And so when I put them together, there is a seam on my left and my right, and that forms the full circle skirt. Maybe French seams would have been more ideal for the lining skirt, but I just decided to overlock my raw edges and those were for the seams on the inside. Then I put in the invisible zipper at the back and also closed off the remaining open edge at the back of the skirt. Finally, I finished off the bottom edge of the lining skirt with a rolled hem with my overlocker after I had adjusted the length of the skirt a little bit more as I had previously said I would. Now that I had all my skirts ready, it was time to put them all together. I began clipping all my skirts together I'm um, going one at a time so I wasn't missing any layers. Just make sure if you do this that you are getting all the layers together because if you miss a little bit, it's just going to be such a headache to fix later on. Although it didn't seem like a lot of fabric or that my fabric was quite lightweight, the skirt is actually still quite heavy. I was surprised. I did think about wearing a petticoat underneath but I also don't think that's necessary anymore. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I mean, I can't... <laughs> I'll put it on the mannequin. I basted the layers of the skirt together so that it would be easier to attach it to the bodice in the next step. Okay, I'm now going to try and attach the skirt and the bodice. I sewed it onto the bodice and I'm not sure if you remember from the last episode but I did put in a lining layer to the bodice so I only attached the skirt to the outer layer of my bodice and not that lining layer. So this is what it looks like now that the bodice and skirt are attached um, and then obviously we have this lining so what I'm gonna do is make sure that 
all of these raw edges are folding upwards and hand sew this down just like with a blind stitch so that the inside looks all clean the ends of the dress are like this so obviously this tab zipper needs to also be um, pushed up there and sewn into it i hope that makes sense just when i thought i was done i realized the zipper was a bit misaligned so i had to do some re-sewing to straighten that up as well and after i had fixed that i also put in a hook clasp so it would be more secure when i wear it also, I didn't end up sewing down any of the tool layers into the zip, as you can see here. Because tool doesn't fray, it doesn't matter if you cut it, and as you can see, it's not very visible at all. This is what the inside looks like after I had sewn down the bodice lining to the skirt. And so that's where I'll leave off today's episode, and here is a final look at my progress so far. Staring out the window Reaching for a North Star Waiting just to wake up From this nightmare Where you could be right back in my arms Dancing to the limbo Stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint A thousand different pictures Of what is wrong But if we turn the clocks back Couple dials, we should throw them out because time ain't you know on those shows like say yes to the dress where the bride comes out and she's getting a little bit emotional she's getting a bit teary well i tried my dress on and i'm really happy with how things are turning out and i'm actually really surprised how fast i got got through the skirt. I spent like an entire day, like full day, like 12 hours on it, but still uh, in a day, there's still a bit I need to fix in the zipper and a bunch of things I still need to get through in my to-do list. I have to do the bustle. I'm thinking I need to tack down the tool layers so that it's not like going crazy and my train's like staying put on the day and i obviously still need to do the sleeves and i need to think about what kind of veil i want because i haven't put too much thought into that but i just want to say thank you so much for following my wedding dress journey so far and i will see you very soon in the next episode actually i have to say this um so you know how at the, at the start of the video i was dreaming about arriving at my wedding day with no wedding dress and having nothing to wear well since i completed the skirt guess what my dream was last night i arrived at my wedding venue and i hadn't picked up my cake or my flowers so i was i was stressed again <laughs>